What's going on guys? So today we're at the tank and I got a bait that I want to talk about that's not out yet but I've been lucky enough to get my hands on and that's the Champ Crawl by Berkeley. Now Jordan Lee has helped them create this bait and they come with a new technology called HD True Color which helps these baits look extremely realistic. Now I've been using these for a little while now and I found that they work from anywhere from punching all the way to Carolina rig in every single condition that you can imagine. Um, I love these things. They're awesome. They've put some kind of air pocket. I can't figure out if it's an air pocket or a certain material that's different than what they've usually used to help these float. And these claws consistently stay up no matter what you do. I found that they consistently stay up. And I think that is why I always get bit with these guys no matter what, whether the bite's hot or it's really slow. It just depends on how you use it. So we're going to jump in the tank and we're going to show you guys a few different ways that I like to use them and talk about it and really show you guys how those claws stand up. So right now we're going to drop a jig in the water. I'm going to use it as a trailer. And right away, you can see just a little bit of line movement. Those claws go in crazy. They go straight up in the air as if a crawdad's in defense mode. And they stay straight up too. Phenomenal bait for a trailer. You can drag it on the bottom. I mean, any little twitch of the line, the claws just instantly react. And they stay floating. They keep rising. They don't ever just settle on down. So that's that for a jig. All right, so right now, we got a swing head on right now. We drop down the tank. And you still have that awesome rising action. Little line twitch, and I mean, it, the whole body lights up. The legs move on the lower end, the arms keep moving. Now this way I was using over the deeper ledges that I would go over with a jig first and they were either short striking it or they weren't touching it at all and I knew they were there and I would just think maybe it was just too big of a profile with the jig having the skirt and everything. So I would switch to this technique over the same spots I knew they were there and it was almost like instant those fish that didn't want that bigger profile, they would just hammer this guy. So, definitely, I had both of these tied onto my deck. And like I said, I went over one area with the jig, didn't work, you know. So I went right back over with the joint head, or swing head, or whatever you want to call it. And it was almost an instant bite. So, over ledges and on top of uh, island tops this is what I used. This one right here actually helped me get a four pound eight ounce spot or smallie I was believe I can't remember but I got a picture of it and I'll put it up in the video so you guys can see but this is exactly what I used right here I mean look at those arms they stay straight up Bait doesn't really roll too much, a little bit, but the arms consistently stay up. You know, it's awesome bait. Like this too, on a straight shake hook, I threw it on a Carolina rig. Throwing it on a Carolina rig, the whole body just kept rising. But I mean, look at that. It stays there and it doesn't move. If you were to dead stick it or something, you leave it in that position on those colder days where the bite's really slow. Guarantee you they would hammer this thing. I mean, it's still the slightest movement of my line. It still stays up. And the claws instantly react. You know, if you have some current or something, it'd be non-stop movement. Subtle movement. Nothing too crazy. Right? Awesome bait. Alright, so right now we tied on Texas. I have the Fusion 19 3-0 EWG hook by Berkeley. 
And that is the hook that I like to use for flipping. Instantly, those claws still stay up. And they have a subtle movement on their way down. Nothing crazy. And it stands straight up when it hits the bottom almost every time. Always stay straight up. You know? So if you have that, usually when you flip or punch, you have a little layer of soot or grass or some kind of moss underneath that your bait can get hidden and lost. And the fish won't touch it. Now with this guy, as you can see, every time that it hits the bottom, it's sticking straight up. Now those fish are going to want it, they're going to see it, they're going to be able to get to it because they're not going to have to take in a mouthful of grass and all that stuff. This guy stands straight up every time. I mean, it's awesome. For flipping and punching, this is my go-to right here. You know, now if you were just throw it as a regular Texas, you could st you still have the same deal. Still stay straight up. The arms stay up. You could drag it. You know, the arms consistently stay up when you're dragging it. And this and you kill it. Arms instantly raise. Drag it straight up. They go straight up and they stay up and it doesn't move. It doesn't sink. And it keeps on rising and it stays in that, you know, three inches off the bottom consistently. As you can see, straight up, stays up. So, this right here, guys, is a phenomenal bait. Summertime, wintertime, one of those cold days when the bite's super finicky. You know when you want little movement, these this right here is gonna do it for you. Or even on those hot summer days where the fish are really active, you know there's so many ways that you can use this bait. You'll get bit all year round. Alrighty, pretty awesome, huh? These guys are pretty sweet and they work really well. So they'll be out very soon, and uh, they'll definitely change my game. I mean, just by how you guys come underwater. These fish are not going to be able to resist. And so far, they haven't been able to resist. So you saw that they helped me win a tournament. And that is what I was throwing, 100% of what I was throwing. So these have made a permanent spot in my boat. And they're not going anywhere anytime soon. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see anything else in the tank, leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe. And thank you all for watching.